Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel, my friend. In this video, we are doing Dollar Tree spring or Easter DIYs. And the cool thing is all of these DIYs can be customized to fit your own style, taste, color scheme. And the other cool thing is that a lot of the techniques used in this video can be used to DIY year round or decorate with year round. And we're starting right now. I wanna start off with my favorite DIY of the video, which is these large eggs. All you need from Dollar Tree is one of their larger plastic eggs. They come in two sizes, extra large and medium large. And then some rope or raffia or yarn, twine, whatever you wanna use and just start wrapping your egg. So I'm using Dollar Tree's lighter color nautical rope, wrapping about one fourth of the egg at the top, cutting it off and then starting with hot glue again, wrapping the bottom about one fourth of the way down. Then switching off to use some of Dollar Tree's brown nautical rope and just wrap that all the way around the middle. Now the cool thing is once you get to the middle, you don't need to hot glue every time. So you hot glue at the beginning, wrap it a few times, and then you may need to hot glue about like three or four lines in there, but you don't need to just totally smother this thing with hot glue, not necessary at all. Then I had picked up this ribbon from Dollar Tree, I wanna say last summer. Really cool, really cute. I was originally gonna use it on a pillow, I just never got around to it. So this, in my mind, is the perfect DIY, but you can use any ribbon or add different colored twine just to make your own egg. And I just tried to, I tried to make it look like a decorated egg in neutral colors. For the smaller egg, I just used all white rope, covered it up, and then went back with a ribbon and just gave it uniform stripes. So when I finished, it looked like this. I ended up making five of these eggs. And so here's another one I did with the white rope and some Dollar Tree's ribbon. And here's all five eggs I've made. Now the larger egg to the far right, I actually made that, I wanna say two years ago, I just kind of tweaked it and altered it a little bit, but I love the way these eggs turned out. I think they look great in this bread bowl. I have them on a console in my dining room. This next DIY is gonna be a learning experience for us both because it was the first time I tried anything like this. One of my neighbors sent me a bunny wreath that she thought was really cool, so I wanted to try to recreate that. You just need three of Dollar Tree's smaller willow wreaths and one larger. Take one of your large and then one of your small, and you can stain that in coffee. This is actually optional. I just don't like how light colored the wood is. If you use coffee, you stain it for 15 to 30 minutes with the coffee warm. If you want it darker, you can just restain it or leave it in longer. Attach these two willow wreaths with zip ties. Optional, you can use hot glue, but I later learned hot glue is not totally necessary. Then for the remaining two smaller willow wreaths, you can soak that in coffee just the same, but we're not doing this to stain it. So if you don't wanna stain, you can just use hot water. Soak your willow wreaths for about 20 minutes to an hour, and this is gonna soften it up where it makes it bendable. Now, this is my first time, like I said, doing anything like this. I've never tried to bend wood or soften wood with water or coffee or anything. And I originally <laughs> used a ponytail holder to tie it off at the end, which eh, it worked, but it's not the best way to do it. I would suggest using a zip tie or use twine. Like I ended up switching to twine and let it dry outside for an hour or two on a sunny day. Then you can cut off the ends of your wreath with some wire cutters. Although I'm not sure this is 100% necessary. It did seem to help the bunny ears fit better to the bunny body, but I have nothing to compare this to. This is the first time I've done anything like this too. Although this turns out really, really cool. So stay with me. Boatload of hot glue, like more like three boatloads of hot glue. Add your bunny ears to the bunny head. Then you can use any florals you have on hand or from Dollar Tree. This is 97 cent eucalyptus from Walmart, along with some Dollar Tree roses. I just took three roses and the largest one in the middle and made a little crown for my bunny. On each side of that, I kind of swagged the eucalyptus from side to side. And then to give it some dimension, because I like using three flowers if I'm gonna do a wreath, I wanna use at least three flowers usually. I just use some smaller white flowers also from Dollar Tree. And this turned out really cute. I'm really happy with how it turned out. My neighbor is super happy. And this is really customizable. You can just use a bow. You could leave it just the wreath as is, although you may wanna figure out how to hide the hot glue for the ears. 
this would look great on your door. I even tried out placing this in my flower garden and that looked pretty too. And we're on to the next one where you just need one to three packs of Dollar Tree's egg picks, eggs on a stick, <laughs> pretty much. It doesn't matter which size, I'm using the smallest size, stick it into some floral foam or a pool noodle or something, take it outside and spray paint it white. It doesn't really matter what spray paint you use. I'm using Rust-Oleum's white spray paint. Rust-Oleum's just my favorite brand, but we're not going for full coverage. So you could probably get away with using Walmart's cheap 97 cent spray paint. One thin coat and you can see the colors are still popping through. That's what we wanna see. We want to see the pastel colors. Then use any type of dark brown or black mixed with water, stir it up with a brush and just sling. <laughs> You're slinging your brush at the eggs. This is gonna give it a dotted robin's egg, more of a as realistic as foam eggs can look type of look. Then one option is just take any little round plate or you could even cut something out of cardboard or poster board. Take some moss and make a little bird's nest with some hot glue. Just glue your moss down and mold it into a nest shape. It's very self-explanatory, not hard at all. And it doesn't have to look perfect. You know, the expression, your hair looks like a bird's nest. It doesn't look good. So the nest doesn't have to look good. And then this is a tray I made last year. I've spray painted it pink for Valentine's Day. Now we are spray painting it a coastal sage but you can paint yours whatever color you want. And if you wanna know how to make this little cake tray or cake stand, I will have that video linked in the description. One of my favorite things to do with Dollar Tree DIYs, I get asked all the time, hey Megan, like what do you do with all your DIYs? I take them apart and reuse them or repurpose them if I don't give them away. And some of them are just staples in my home I use year round or I use yearly for the seasons. This tray is one of my favorites because there's so many ways you can style and decorate with it, but this would look cute just on a table as decor as well. Now for this one, we're using one of Dollar Tree's toy squishy balls or foam balls, which is cheaper, by the way, than using a craft foam ball from Walmart or craft store, Target, wherever, and just hot glue our little eggs all over the toy ball. Then you can just pick up any bag of moss. I opened up a brand new bag of moss for this y'all and you don't even need a full bag of moss from Dollar Tree. Hot glue your moss all in between the eggs. And then when you're finished, all you have to do is just use any tin or bucket or box you already have on hand. I'm just using one of Dollar Tree's tins. I spray paint it white last year and floral foam, stab your stick into the floral foam and that's it. You can see I got a lot of moss left over too. Cute little topiary, be cute inside or outside. And <laughs> I always have to look up the word topiary, topiary, topiary before I say it. I don't know why that's so hard for me. It used to be cinnamon, although I've annihilated the word cinnamon. I can say that correctly now. <laughs> Next, this is a free coloring printout. I'll have that linked in the description and some of Dollar Tree's clear contact paper, but you can really use any contact paper. It doesn't matter that much. Just trace out the bunny and cut it out. So the cool thing about contact paper is it's not like regular tape where if you pull it away from the paper, it's gonna rip the paper with it. It comes off the paper. And we pretty much made our very own stencil. Then any one of Dollar Tree's welcome mats, flip it over to the back, put down your stencil and you can spray paint or paint your bunny, the color of your choice. I prefer spray painting with rugs. I think it's faster, easier, has great longevity. I used pink, yellow, and the same coastal sage just because I already have these on hand. And the cool thing about this for spray painting, you don't have to wait until the previous section dries. Like I did this back to back to back, spray painted, ripped it up, moved it over, and just covered the areas of the rug I didn't want spray painted with some leftover Amazon shipping cardboard. And that's it. Then I layered this up with a different Dollar Tree doormat I made about a year and a half ago. I have a update or a recap of that video in a Christmas video from last year. I'll have that linked in the description if you're interested to know how to make this Buffalo check doormat. And I think this is really cute. For a dollar, you can't beat it. Next, you just need any one of Dollar Tree's little truck MDF cutout signs. 
fall, Christmas, Easter, it doesn't matter. If you're using one of fall or Christmas with the pumpkins or the truck in the back, all you have to do is use your hands and snap that off. If you're using the Easter one though, the eggs or carrots are like strongly, it's part of the sign. So I just use one Dollar Tree's hand saws to saw down the side and then a kitchen knife to score it across where the truck bed is and snap it backwards with my hands. <laughs> but I mean, you do what you gotta do. That was just the easiest for me. Go back with some spackle or caulking, both can be picked up at Dollar Tree, and fill in any holes you have on your truck and then just paint your truck. Once again, <laughs> well, every single time. If I can spray paint, I'll spray paint something because it's so much faster and easier. I know some people hate spray painting, like Courtney from Creative on the Cheap. She hates spray painting. I love spray painting. I find it faster and easier and you just get a nice smooth coat, but that's a personal preference. Then you can just go back and paint your wheels and the hubcaps or fenders. <laughs> I actually have no idea. I don't know what that part of the truck is called, but it's the silver part. I painted that silver. Add some Dollar Tree moss, a boatload and a half of hot glue, and some Dollar Tree's carrots to make it look like this is a carrot carrying truck. Then this is Walmart's lamb's ear. You get two for $2 or a dollar each, however you wanna look at that, but you can use any florals you have on hand. And this wreath is also a reused wreath I'm reusing. It already has hot glue all over it. I picked that off. I don't know if you can catch that on camera, but it doesn't matter. It's the same size as when a Dollar Tree's wreath. You can totally buy new Dollar Tree wreath for just a dollar. And I'm gonna swag the lamb's ear back and forth. Now, whenever I do the style of wreath where it's just like, one side has florals, I'll go back and I'll trim off some of the leaves, set that aside, save that for later to kind of fill out the wreath. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm just taking three more of these roses. I'm using the ones I have left over from the last DIY. After I put three of those down, then I go back and hot glue the leaves I cut off on because the roses would have covered those up anyways. And this is just really stretching our dollar, making the florals go farther. Then some of these smaller white roses, from Dollar Tree, some of Dollar Tree's baby's breath, and just add that into the sides to give it some dimension. Like I said, I really don't like using just two types of florals. I like using at least three. Then all you gotta do is hot glue your truck down, and that's it. This DIY is totally done. Now my friend, she had sent me inspiration from Etsy, and something very similar to this. I was like, girlfriend, I can totally make that for you. I love the way this turned out, but also I didn't use a lot of hot glue to attach the truck to the wreath. So after spring or Easter, she can rip that truck off and then just use this as an everyday wreath. The rope eggs are definitely my favorite DIY. This That's something I'm, I'm using for real legit decorating my home with. The other ones I'm giving away, well, no, wait, you know what? I am using the tray and I am putting the rug outside. <laughs> but hey, let me know what your favorite was or if you hate them all, that's fine too. Let me know in the comments. So much love to you. I'll catch you next time.